Hello, my big and beautiful family. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Another day, another chance. Thanks, Allah, for that. Family, another chance to be here asking you guys, please, let's keep praying for the brothers and sisters from Palestine. Uh, let's keep sharing the truth. Allah gave us another chance for that. Let's try to help the Palestinians, no matter how, just do your best, do your part, and I'm pretty sure the victory is on the way, no doubt about that. It's very easy to know because if you look the history from thousands of years ago until now, Allah never lost and never will lose any battle against the evil. That's for sure. You just have to look back there until now. And you see what I'm talking about. And today I bring for you guys a content that says UK media admits Israel is losing. Yes, big time. We have been talking about this for weeks already. We have to to see the whole picture uh, because this Zionist government is killing thousands of people, innocent people, child, the oldest ones, babies, doesn't mean they are winning the war. No, they are losing big time. When you look to the Western um, television, you might think, oh, Israel is doing very good. They are killing, you know, uh, the fighters of Hamas, but they are lying. They are not doing that. Sometimes they say, oh, we got the big leader of Hamas, but they don't even prove anything. All liars. So they are losing big time. Not only Israel, the whole Western countries. This is a big formulation for them so let's see what's happening here thank you so much love you all don't forget i always put Allah ahead of everything we're gonna be fine and palestine will be free let's do this assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of smile to jenna and indeed this story is definitely worth smiling about. First, it was Israel's very own newspaper, Haaretz, and now it is UK's own newspaper, The Guardian, both saying one thing, and that is Israel is losing the war. Cry, Shaitania, cry. Lol. When it comes to military, when it comes to technology, when it comes to taking Americans' tax payers' dollars, Israel is definitely on the upper end of the spectrum. In fact, when it comes to even other countries needing military equipment and expertise, they refer to Israel. But it seems that Israel has bitten off more than it can chew. Because if you push somebody into the corner and you are pressing them and you carry on battering them using something called, and search this up, it's called the Dahiya Doctrine, which is when they batter Palestine, they don't just do it proportionately, they deliberately do it disproportionately so they are not in a fit state to respond back. In other words, it's a clear war crime. This is not allowed. You're not allowed to do this, but these are the only guys who not only do it, but they have the military prowess to try and spin it. But in every facet that we're seeing, Israel is getting smashed. Now, according to this article, the author gives a few points that you guys have probably heard of in case you haven't. Again, it's in this Guardian article and we're going to just bullet point these and you guys can check these in detail in your own time. So number one, it's of course the people that have died and of course the disabled and the injured are numbering in their 
thousands yeah as you can see this is again is an Israeli newspaper and they are saying the hospitals are struggling and overflowing with injured disabled people and it's clearly being underreported by the Israeli officials because frankly it looks of course has not been reported because what they do best lie and kill innocent people that's what they do best the Zionist government and also we all know they are committing uh, war crimes they are breaking international laws laws and nobody see anything every single one acting blind even most of the Islamic countries and trust me they gonna have to pay for all these people that they killed the Palestinians more than 20,000 uh, they are martyrs and I'm pretty sure that Allah took them for a nice place in heaven in Jannah and they are better than us here for sure okay but those that the bad ones, the evil ones, they are killing the innocent, committing this genocide, they gonna have to pay for. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that will be bad. They gonna burn forever in hell. And it is fair because Allah gonna make the justice for all these crimes. Believe me. Bad. Yeah, it looks terrible because they are also fighting a war within. Netanyahu is struggling a great deal that even his own guys, again what I'm saying is from this article, his own guys are saying that what he's doing is creating more resistance from within. Of Bullet course. point number two, it's of course you probably heard Shifa Hospital which they try to put forward Shifa Hospital as the headquarters for H but it was not only proven by you know even independent British and American researchers were looking into it, Channel 4 looked into it, they were like doesn't seem like that to us. Washington Post recently did their own investigation said nope didn't look like that to us. This notion that there were tunnels co connecting H to the hospital there's no evidence for this whatsoever and the fact that they've got you know Pegasus you know Pegasus that's a technology that they've got that they can look into anyone's phone without them knowing and you know it's it's fantastic software ingenious but despite having all of this technology they couldn't locate their own hostages you suck and when they finally did two of them came shirtless like look we're unarmed what's a humiliation right with a white flag and they shot their own and on top of that there was a dog a couple of days before that a searcher dog with audio equipment that they sent that picked up the hostages as well so that's why the people in Israel are getting cheesed off. Hundreds, almost a thousand of Jewish and Arab Palestinian citizens in Israel came to rally today in Tel Aviv against this war in a call for ceasefire and protests are that's another thing that we say here that the real Jews, the real Jewish people, they don't agree with this genocide, with this Zionist evil government. I have been saying this for you guys. That is another proof of that. Are taking place in Israel as we speak, but again. You're not going to see this regularly. You're only going to hear about hate or Israel has the right to defend itself and all that nonsense that frankly people are getting bored of. And not to mention the triple ambush. Oh yes indeed. Golami Brigade I think it was. They were there. They got jumped. Then reinforcements. The reinforcements got jumped. And then they sent reinforcements again. They got jumped as well. <laughs> No, that's a that's lot of damage. A triple ambush in which they lost. They lost at least 10. Boy, a colonel and three majors, mate. That is a major loss. <laughs> and you've got UK 
and U.S. who are the blind allies of Israel, even these guys are struggling to defend the Dahia doctrine. Yeah, because it's just getting too much. Israel is going on a blind rampage and they are sealing their fate that even Wallace, yeah, what was his name? Ben Wallace of the UK, you know, senior official is saying that they have now extended, you know, what they're going to have to deal with to 50 years. 50 years, I would even say beyond that as well. Because anyone who's seen that, I think I saw one report 70% flattened, yeah, but it's through that rubble that they are being smashed. Yeah, there's certain <clears throat> clips that we oh, can't yes. put up. But if you look on X, formerly known as Twitter, H are constantly putting up videos, going up to tanks, you know, making it happen from underneath small holes. Guerrilla warfare is really doing it for them. And Israel is just used to dancing on TikTok videos and making these dumb dumb videos and then when people make fun of them because they have to use a lot of diapers and change themselves every 30 minutes they got upset I don't know why this is the truth they pee and they shoot themselves all the time you know and when they are not in the battlefield they do this kind of dumb videos and stupid people might think they are all right but not they are losing their minds yeah big time dancing haha ha, we're winning look how cute we look mate you're getting smashed you guys are getting smashed that's what it is and the point that i really wanted to say and emphasize is this should increase our iman the bigger mosques are saying that eight out of ten people accepting islam it is because of the resolve that they are yes. seeing from the people in Palestine. Inshallah. And on top of that, the most integral lesson is that nothing happens without the permission and will of Allah. If Allah is with you, but the whole world is against you, you will succeed. But if Allah is against you, the whole world is with you, you cannot succeed. Perfect. That's why I understand that anything and everything happens with the will of Allah and you guys watching, you guys know you've been at hospital, something's happened to your daughter. The doctors have said, you know what? chances of survival are very minimal yet there's countless stories where the child has survived parents have survived yeah your friends have survived you didn't think you would get that job but you did you didn't think you would pass that exam but you did so look yes there are means but we do not rely and depend upon those means yeah do your best Allah will do the rest Allah is a significant part of our action so guys whatever problems and hardships we are going through understand and realize that it is not us that are the doers because we have become deluded yeah, because the press of our fingertips you know deliveries can come you know from all sorts of from televisions to technology to you know getting our bills paid you know just t -t -t tapping on glass frankly that's all we're doing we are tapping on glass and we feel so powerful frankly you know what i mean we have power you know big cars going around just do whatever you want you know whenever you want go to another country whenever you want watch anything a movie music or whatnot read any book subhanallah but understand and realize that if it's not within the will of Allah, those books will give you no benefit. Those movies will be a mere distraction from the actual issues you need to face. So that connection with Allah is and will always remain important no matter how far technology goes and how much machine like we become because obviously they're trying to make us, uh, you know, that's the next part of the plan. Human machine hybrids. So yeah you know challenges will continuously increase but Allah will always be there because so many of our mothers and fathers are making dua tahajjud you know after every fajr kunut people are you know crying and zulm Allah will never side with zulm and zulm at this level dahiya doctrine sick 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 people let's leave it there guys till next time assalamu alaikum Allah Wakba, huh? This is a nice content. Uh, that is a lot of motivation for us. And did you guys pay attention when he said, even if the whole world is against you, 
But Allah is with you, you will succeed. But if the whole world is with you and Allah is against you, you will not succeed. Succeed, Because like I said from the beginning, Allah never lost and never will lose any battle. So, we have to keep this in mind. Let's keep praying. Never ever lose your faith. Because in the right time, Allah going to fix everything. And Palestine will be blessed for sure. And let's keep praying for the brothers and sisters. And I'm pretty sure what I'm talking about, um, what I'm talking for you guys about the martyrs. They are in a nice spot. They are in a nice place better than us. So let's concentrate to the Palestinians to be free. And they will do your best. Allah will do the rest. Thanks so much. Allah bless you all. And I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.